What she want? Say something. Holiest Melitella, tis a monastic sign. A monk of the prophet Levioda disguised as a witcher. Slight exaggeration, Grandma. Ever so modest. Sway that girl away from medicine. She should pray. The prophet Levioda said... What was it he said? I'll return that lost sheep to the fold. Yes? You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you need? Cherry vodka for Dandelion. Rosé wine for me. And something for you. I'll try. Yes? I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. I'll go at once. Yeah. age is no joke.
Screw co-op existence. Time to die. I'll go with... Yes? What about this party? Invited anyone yet? Not really. We're waiting on you. <laughs> yes? Who's the richest person in Vizima's temple quarter? Used to be Vivaldi, but now Declan Luvarden's your man. The guy shits gold. Beautiful analogy. Thanks. Yes? Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Farewell. I've figured out Azar Javed's contacts. Interesting. I know it's Raymond. Detective Raymond? Hmm. Well, that would mean... The real detective is dead. Azar Javed is using a magic illusion. I'm impressed. What will you do? I see. Well, you can stop smiling. I have nightmares aplenty as it is. 
but be reasonable. If I were you, I'd contact Kalkstein. Every spell deserves a counter spell. The alchemist might help you. What now? Such debauchery under my roof. She hooks herself a musician or something. It's the famous poet, Dandelion. I know his fame. I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now. Shall I chaperone them? Finally. You're making sense. Hi, Geralt. Dandelion can't wait to see you. Geralt? I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Cahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Are you telling me everything? We were all there. All meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones. Your friends. Sounds a bit like a ballad. It's the truth and nothing but. Geralt, forgive me. I still can't believe you're here. Listen, Dandelion, I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down, have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. You invite anyone? Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Zoltan and I have always gotten along. I've been thinking, and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? Silver sword. Potions. What are you driving at? Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Vampires are born from black magic, evil by nature. Negotiation usually ends with one of the parties losing a lot of blood, and it's rarely the vampire. And what if the vampire doesn't care to drink blood? They inherently drink blood. But I think you have something else in mind. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a vampire. Dandelion. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Zoltan Chive, miss. It's been a while, Dandelion. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for a good booze. It's coming. Pour around, Geralt. What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, 
I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. Stiff stuff. My eyes are watering. Bees is best, I always say. It depends. For a romantic dinner for two, booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. I prefer wine, but don't mind liquor. In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments, which Shani will confirm. It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not only. It warms the body, alleviates pain, and overcomes weakness. Let's test it. Cheers! What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and... I admire... It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. So, as I was saying, unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Dandelion, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did, so the joke's on you. In any case, this vampire's name was Regis. Zoltan can back me up. He was your friend and could pull red-hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis Rohalak Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. Caleb Stratton. Krusty! You hungry? A little. We've bread, but we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's right. We need some lard. That mummy downstairs must have a full larder. You're joking. That mummy must have some lard. Maybe pickles, too. Shani? Just don't get caught, Geralt. I'll pay for them tomorrow. Wait a second. Why me? Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about, and Dandelion, well, he'd mess up. All right. I'll be right back. Let's drink to our mistakes. Any success? Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? Zoltan. Fine. Lard will do. I think I know the perfect song for Zoltan. We'd love to hear it. Sing away, Dandelion. By the woods can you see Wolf in all his might Grinning madly, wagging gladly Bouncing with delight My oh my, what a sight Why no melancholy Must be that, still not wed That is why so jolly Arr, arr, arr. In the grass, can you see? Wolf just limps along, looking down, awful frown, crying like a dog. Why is this mighty beast so badly rampaged? Must be that, freshly wed or lately engaged. Arr, arr. Zoltan, how's the wife? Ah, uh, hard question, Dandelion. The old times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. 
to Shani. Yes. Red roses, Geralt. So you... You're blushing. I get flowers so rarely. A pretty young medic like you can't be lacking admirers. Well, this gloomy fellow scared everyone else away. If you need help... No, I'm fine. He was mysterious, even charming in a peculiar way. We actually went out a few times, and who knows what might have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. Who do you mean? Taller. I doubt you know him. We were walking along the dike one evening when I realized we were being followed by two men wearing gray coats over Special Forces armor. The coats were supposed to hide them. They didn't know at university I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Taller told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Taller said to the men, this better be important. One of them answered, but chief, we hid invisible-like. Taller said, your balls will be invisible-like when I shove them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How'd it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Who were they? Boltes secret police. When we first met in Oxenfurt, I helped you evade Redanian agents. The Temerian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenfurt, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. Yes.